I want to talk about manifestations and desires and what you're really willing to uh, sacrifice, so to speak, in order to get them. How bad do you want it, so to speak, you know? Because everybody wants to um, be a massive manifester, but it's, it's a mental game that we're playing here. And then I want to share some things with you all because I'm in a place in my life where my manifestations are here. <laughs> they're here if you notice in the background I don't, I don't really have nothing in this room they're here and and so many things going on in my physical reality and i want to share some of the secrets that some things that i did maybe it could help you as hi cool yeah i think it's a great topic too maybe it can help you in your journey you know what you're willing to sacrifice you know how in the biblical text they always talked about sacrifice a sacrificial offering so to speak something it's like you have to like die to the old man, so to speak. You have to give up something. And in, in, in this manifestation game, is really going to be that mental, that old mindset, that old being. Hi, Miss Being. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Hey, Crawl. Oh, look at who we are. Crawl up in here, y'all. So you have to give up something. And I just wanted just, just to be transparent with you all and share some things that helped me along my journey. That's helping me manifest and i didn't really realize it today i was on somebody else live and people were like i miss you and i i just been so caught up into what's going on you know the changes in my life that i i haven't really been on TikTok or other uh social media platforms for a minute but let's get into it though let's get into it because i want you all when I move, you move. And I want you all to get this thing. And after years of studying about the law of attraction, the law of assumption, after becoming spiritual, being on a you know health and wellness diet with being a vegan and just mental clarity, I just wanted to share what I did. First, I'll tell you, I remember when I was um, when I was going to school to get my degree. And that I was deciding to go to school to get my degree. And, you know, I was a new mother. And I was like, oh, man, when I, now that I'm working, when I get off from work, I'm not going to be able to go hang out. I'm not going to be able to go dance because I used to dance a lot. I'm not going to be able to go dance. And I'm not going to be able to do da 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 because I'm going to be a full-time student. And I'm not going to be able to do these things. I still got to cook and clean, be a mother, and da 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 But I realized that I had to make that sacrifice and walk away from those things. Then when I got the degree, I realized then, you know, when I went back to go dance and to check up on the people that my friends, they were still in the same place in life. They were still there. So when I begin to talk about this, I want to encourage you that you're not going to be missing out on nothing else. Um, you're not going to be missing out on nothing else, but stay focused on what it is that you really want, your heart's desire in order for you to attain it quickly. So in my mind, with manifestation, I, I look at it the same way. I made a sacrifice to change the person who I was, the mindset of the person. I wasn't revisiting that mindset no more. So I made that sacrificial offering that I'm not going to do these, those thoughts no more. And this is what I begin to do. Because it's not just you meditating at night and forgetting about what you did at night in that med meditation. And then in the daytime, you're just walling out and doing whatever you want. So hear me clearly, and I want maybe somebody to try this and you, you get your blessing and you gonna come back and testify, so to speak, and tell me about it because it works. So what I begin to do for the things that I want, and I'm not ready to share that, you'll see it coming on my upcoming TikTok, but I'll just generally speak. For the things that I wanted, I knew what they were. And so before I went to bed every night, I cut off I took care of the relationship. I took care of being the mother. I took care of all the things that I had to do. And before I went to sleep, when I'm drifting to sleep, I cut off every other thing in my physical reality. And I quantum jumped to where it was that I wanted to be. And for those who don't understand quantum jumping, it is you using your five senses. You using your five senses as if you're in that place of prosperity already where you can see it where you can smell it you can taste it you you partaking in that experience in your mind with your eyes closed using your human imagination but it's not just that though 
It's not just that because the drifting off space is at zero point energy where it's really a powerful place where you can manifest and bring things back to your physical reality. And upon rising, those are two precious moments where I quantum jumped. But in the daytime, in the daytime, we have a lot of people who meditate and quantum jump, but in the daytime, their habitual thoughts are counteracting everything that they did in that meditation practice. Their habitual thoughts, when they talk about meditation, they are probably telling their friend, yeah, I'm trying this new meditation thing. I don't know if it's working. I mean, I'm just going to try and figure it out and see how it's going. No, you don't talk like that. Matter of fact, you don't even tell your friends. Some things you need to just be quiet. Notice I haven't told you all yet what's going on in my reality because in your subconscious mind, you have doubt and Thomas out there, which is one of your reflections. And they that doubt that they'll have will make cause you to doubt and have your unwavering, so to speak, kind of faith. Like Peter, you begin to sink in the water, right? And what did the Christ conscious one say? Oh, ye of little faith. So don't let nobody come in your physical reality. Don't be loose at the mouth trying to tell everybody, oh, I'm about to manifest a million dollars. Oh, I'm about to manifest this new card. No, 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 no. This is something you must sacrifice. Closing your mouth. <laughs> Stay in focus by quantum jumping. You're sacrificing the drifting off stage. You're sacrificing when you first get up in the morning stage because those two pivotal moments are when you are really in and out of two different realms. They're powerful moments. So nobody can come, you can't be jumping up out of the bed with no buzzing alarm clock that got you, your mind on your heart beating fast because the alarm clock and scared you. You can't be jumping out of the bed, running late for work and all of this here. All these other meaningless distractions, you got to open up your eyes and grab a hold to that thing. You got to drift off smiling, saying it feels good. It feels so good that I'm here right now. Like you, you, you're milking the moment of that thing. And during the daytime, during the daytime, you have to carry that thing with you. You have to become this, if, so say for example, it was $1 million that you was trying to manifest. You need to be walking around in the physical reality like a millionaire. You need to be able to feel abundance around you. So much so, and this is another thing, you use your reflections that's out there in the physical reality. You so much so embodying that state of being that when you see somebody, like we're gonna just use the millionaire thing. When you see somebody in the physical reality, in your human imagination or in your inner voice, you're saying to that somebody, oh, he knows, he recognized me. He recognizes me as being a millionaire or whatever it is. Oh, he, he knows, he knows, he knows that I'm lovable. Look, he's being drawn to me. Whatever it is, when you go to the doctor, uh, the nurse knows, she knows that all of my blood work is well. Whatever your situation is, you use your human imagination and you project your thoughts on other people outside of you. It ain't time for your old raggedy thoughts to still be into play. You gotta kill those things. And you have to remember <laughs> consciously, this is what consciousness is really all about, is your awareness awareness of you and how you're feeling and how you're thinking at all times. So say, for example, you up in the kitchen and you washing dishes. We have thoughts that come to our mind. Like, oh, I wonder if I, I wonder if I paid my, that bill. I wonder if I shut the front door. Instead of seeing those things, oh, it feels good to know. Yeah. All of my bills are paid. I live in abundance. Oh, if I feel so safe right now. Whether the door is open or door is shut, I am, I am protected. You have to change that inner dialogue that you were saying to yourself in order to be in alignment to what it is that you are desiring. This is what I'm talking about, about a, a, a sacrificial offering. It's sacrificing. It's about cutting yourself off from the old way of doing things. With me, well, I never really watched TV in years anyway, so that was the easy part. But if you still one of those TV watches, one of those news watches, 
if you really, really want to get your manifestation drawn to you faster, you will want to uh, program yourself and you would want to hear the programs on no TV. Nobody else's programs. You don't even want to listen to the radio station when you're trying to really manifest something. You want to listen to music that you already have in your phone that's in alignment to the things that you're wanting. You know, so if you, if you, like I said, we're going to use the millionaire status, we will listen to music that's in alignment to money, prosperity. So everything that you're doing, whether you have a sticky note on your bathroom mirror, you see that when you wake up, you just woke up, you just came out of that, that other realm of, of 100% of your brain capacity and you went and you quantum jumped. Now you walked into the bathroom and you saw your sticky note that told you that I am abundance. Then you got in your car, you listened to the music that is in alignment, in alignment with abundance. You're driving to work. Now maybe you're thinking while you get it on that elevator, you're conscious of the thoughts that you're having <laughs> because you're carrying this thing with you. Everything through your day is about this particular desire that you have. But here's the, this is, this is really, really important. I'm telling you about making these sacrifices. I'm telling you about being conscious with your mind, but notice I said, you're carrying this thing with you. So you're not thirsty, like begging, like, oh, is it, is it there? Is it there? No, 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 no. You're able to release it because you already know you have it. So right now in my hand, I have a cup. If I was trying to manifest this particular cup, it, it, it's like, well, it's already here. I'm not really worried about it because I'm, I'm carrying it with me. I'm not asking, I'm not going to ask you or you or anybody outside of me, where's my cup? Because I'm carrying my cup with me. I carry my cup with me every day, you know? So you want to have that type of mindset that because I went to bed with this thing on my mind last night, because I, I woke up and I was feeling it, I was touching it and I was tasting it. I knew already how this cup would feel in my hand because I had already, when I did my quantum jump, I already felt it. I already, I already smelt it. I already knew what was going to be inside of the cup. You see what I'm saying? So this, this here is one of the things like, you know how people, you'll see people on the TikTok talking about their, um, their twin flame, like, oh my gosh, I'm, you know, I'm sad. He's not here. No, 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 no. Imagine it's here, the twin flame though. Okay. So if, if it's right here in my hand, how could I miss this? This is what alignment is all about. When you're really in alignment, you can't miss nothing because you're carrying it with you. Every day is with you. Nobody can't tell you. And if somebody told, if I put my cup down and I just use my human imagination and I'm still, I still feel that I'm carrying my cup with me, nobody can tell me that I don't have my cup. Like, what do you mean? My cup is right here. No, 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 no. My cup is right here in my head. What are you talking about? I carry it with me. Whether I see it in the physical reality or not, it is with me. Are you getting that part? That is so important. I'm not talking about no physical stuff here. This is a mindset because you have to feel it. You have to experience it already before you can get the car. You got to already experience that thing. And in that way, when Dalton Thomas, if Dalton Thomas show up and say, girl, you ain't got no cup in your hand. You could have that unwavering faith and be like, oh, 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 yes, I do. This is my cup. How do I know? Because I've experienced that thing. I've held that thing. I carry that thing with me. Maybe you can't see it, but I see it because I've used my human imagination to see it, to experience it. And so when I begin to do this thing every day was happening in my physical reality, past tense, let me say that again, what began to happen in my physical reality is the universe or my subconscious mind began to make way for my manifestations to be drawn to me. I didn't have to go run behind them. They were being drawn to me. That means my old physical reality was shifting. That means my old thoughts 
were going away. And behold, all things begin to be brand new because I changed my mindset. And so then, then, then these little coincidences would happen, so to speak. You just bump into your blessing. Because it's like the universe is saying, no, 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 go over here. I need you over here. I need you over here. Turn right there. Go right up, oh, right there. You'll see it. And you'll know it because guess what? You already know how we felt because you had already carried it with you. When you quantum jump over there already, before you had it, you already smelt it. You already touched it. You already tasted it. You see what I'm saying here? That's the key to anything that you want in the physical reality. That's the key. <laughs> that is what they're saying and the thing about it is we build resistance when we get out of that meditation practice and we start telling everybody the things that we're wanting we open up our mouth too soon and all them people out there they begin to doubt for you all them people out there they begin to seemingly want to test you <laughs> because it's all it's up in here it's really things up in here that you have deeply rooted inside of here that you ain't purge your little doubt but your little doubt gotta manifest and show you you so that go you your doubt and then, then then there's another part of you that might come out there's a part of you that that that, that likes to procrastinate and, 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 and get distracted and so then two or three days after doing this you won't gonna do it no more because part of you is used to your old programming Part of you is used to the way that you go home every day. <laughs> Part of you is used to the friends that you sit around with every day. Part of you is used to go and get your little drink on Thursday every day because you set a program for yourself. But that's a part of you that you have to sacrifice. That's a part of you that you have to die. You have to allow it to die and stay focused on jumping to that part in that in the story that you really want in your mind so much so that 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 that, that you live in there mentally so much so that that you driving down that street mentally so much so that that people you know how people ask you um what you over there thinking about in in, in the common phrases oh girl i was in another world so much so that you have to visit that other world that's what you got to do in your human imagination because you have to be there before you can actually be there in the physical reality. You, it's you telling your subconscious mind what you want because it doesn't know the difference of what you're experiencing right now or what you're imagining. So the subconscious mind is sitting there thinking, oh, oh, she's experiencing abundance right now. Oh, okay, let's keep on giving her abundance. That's how this thing works. Oh, she's experiencing wellness right now. Oh, we got to give her some more wellness. Because the subconscious mind is it's, it's on its program of giving you that which it is familiar with. That's why it's really so hard for people when they begin to want to go on diets. They're used to the old programming. The old programming, they, don't, they set those little New Year's resolutions. But the old program ran longer than, than, than January 1st to January 30th. The old program probably about 30, 40 years of eating what they wanted, of not practicing discipline. So they fall off before Valentine's Day come because that old program took over again. But if you start to do this here and try to stick to this new program <laughs> and you begin to make this a habit, you have to walk into it. This is law. You have to walk into it. So I would say those friends, those places you frequent, that, that low frequency music that you listen to, being a loose mouth but telling everybody what you're trying to manifest in your physical reality, those type things don't work, baby. Those type things don't work. And this year journey, for me, what's worked for me is being still and knowing that I am God. Being still and, and, and allowing my mind to take me to the places that I want it to be. Being still did this here for me. It's a mental game. And each and every person in the physical reality can do this. Matter of fact, each and every person in the physical reality is doing it. Because your life right now in the physical reality is everything that you've been thinking. Every habitual thoughts that you had while you were washing your dishes, so to speak, 
the shitty thoughts. Oh, you, you thought that up. And that is what your physical reality is right now. The doubt and Thomas in you, the inability to pay your bills. Well, you, you keep thinking that up. I'm, I'm sorry to be the bearer of that end of the stick too now. The homeless people that live underneath the bridge, oh, they're thinking that up. So if you want to be all accountable for, oh, I manifested this good thing, remember, you also manifest that so-called no good thing. That's all you. That's all your thoughts. And everything you see and experiencing in your reality, the people that are showing up in your reality is because you thought them up. And so you have to attune your ears. You have to begin to work on the inner because as within, so without. And so all of this is you working on your inner man, telling your ears, nah, I need you to attune and give me energy of a higher frequency. Telling your eyes, look, I want to see more abundance. Show me abundance. Look for abundance. And that way, that, 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 that lack thereof would no longer exist. You have to have your spoken word to be impeccable for the things that you're wanting. Not, oh, I'm trying to manifest this thing and it's taking for long and I don't, so long and I don't know if it's going to come and da, 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 no, no, no. I am a master manifester. I am a magnet. I draw people to me. I, I'm a money magnet. Wealth is my birthright. Health and wellness is what I feel right now. These are the type right now situation kind of verbiage you need to be telling yourself in your inner dialogue. Even when you're smelling, oh, I can smell success. I smell my riches. I smell my, my healing. I, I smell my new environment. I can smell it. Every sense that you have, you have to use in this game to get where you are wanting to be. So much so that you just can just be and nobody can tell you that it's not going to happen or it hasn't better yet already happened. If it is something like you wanting to get into like a, a new car, for example, go and test drive the one that you desire. Get familiar with what a new car scent smells like. I, when I manifested a car of mine, that's what I did. I played, I went to that website and I played the little, the little clip of how they be driving the car on the little rainy road, you know, showing the, the, the torque or whatever, the miles per hour and whatever they do, horsepower and all of this here and features and all that. And I sit there using my human imagination and watching that just like a little girl watching cartoons, excited about it. Knowing that that was mine. I'm, that's my car. Look at my car. Oh, wee! You got to be milking that thing. And then you get it. And for that particular car, I went to the dealer and I told them I wanted to test drive the car. I told him and I, and I looked at the um, VIN number on the windshield and I remember the last four digits of that particular VIN number. And after I test drove it, I, I touched it and I said, this, this is my car. This is my car. So I went home for a point in time. I like to do a couple of weeks. I went home for a couple of uh, weeks and I was saying, that's my car. That's my car. That's my car. I drove my car in my human imagination, in my mind, in my inner voice. I wonder if it's raining over there on my car. <laughs> I'm going to get my car. I'm going to go get my car. And so I called around and I was trying to get the best deals on my car. I called around different dealers that sold my car to get the best deal. And I got a deal that was maybe an hour away. An hour away. But mind you, I went to my local dealer and I said that that was my car. And I remember those VIN numbers on the end of that car. And, and I got a better deal and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to go get the better deal. But on my way to go get the better deal, I really didn't feel like driving. I stopped at my local dealer and I told him, hey, I got a better deal out there. 
What could you all not give me that deal? They gave me a better deal right at my local dealer shop. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a car. I'm going to get my car. And when they pulled my, and they knew nothing about me test driving that car, remember that VIN number. And when they pulled that car around, it was the very same car that I had test drove, that I had went home for weeks and used my human imagination to get. It was my car that they delivered to me. <laughs> for a better price than the one that I was about to go get. You create your reality through your human imagination. Now, some people might think, oh, this sounds too good to be true. But I wouldn't come on here and lie. You hold that thought. I'm about to show you the stuff that I've created. And I'm giving you the secret sauce. I'm giving you the secret sauce. Close your mouth. Stop telling everybody. When you go to sleep, when you wake up at night, that's the most powerful moments for you to quantum jump. And in the daytime, people don't have to know what you're thinking. You could jump over there. And you believe that thing. And you know that thing is yours. It shall be. Whew. Man, this is a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. Let me check out some of these comments up here because I'm just going because I'm really excited. And I can't wait to share my blessings with you all. Oh, and before I check these comments, my website has been closed because I've been traveling and doing all kind of other different things, but it should be open in the beginning of August. I'm hopeful. I'm sorry. I can't make products right now because I got a lot of things going on in my physical reality. Hi, confident. I love this. Hi, divinity. Truth. Yes. Yes. The power of the tongue. That's really what it is because your word should not come back to you. That spoken word. That inner, that is, is more about that habitual thought. That's the spoken word. The word that you speak into the yourself, to yourself. It can't come back to your void. That's what the biblical text was telling us. My word, it shall be put out and it shall go out and do what I commanded it to do. It cannot come back to me void. Yeah, ouch and the truth. Yeah, yeah. Let's say hi. Hi, Shell. Thank you for being here. Whether the door is open or closed, I am protected. There you go. For real. For real. What is an example of that music aligned with abundance? You could listen to like, that's a good one, a good uh, question. You could listen to um, frequencies, um, 432 hertz of um, of healing frequency. They have uh, that available on uh, YouTube. Because really, really it's, it's not that you want to be in alignment with that sound of abundance you know how they have these abundance these uh, frequencies of, of money so to speak but really you really want to be in tune with self you want to in, be in tune with the universe 432 hertz is the best frequency for that it's like a healing frequency and it, it, it's like a calming frequency you know centering yourself because really you it's your power so once you become centered so to speak, with yourself or with your cells, now everything is working and everything is vibrating at the correct frequency for it to be drawn to you without any type of resistance, is what I'm saying here. Excellent. Yeah. You beautiful preach. <laughs> thank you, Chrome. Hey, Gina. Look at my Gina. I miss you. Hey, Ruben. Thank you for being here. Let's see. How did you discover this? Because... I'm really an introvert. <laughs> I'm really an introvert and I pay attention to the things that 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 um happen to me and through me and around me. I I really I'm I'm kind of like a nerd. <laughs> I study people. You know, I'm quiet and I pay attention to energy of people. Like when if when I if I was to go to the mall, my my spot will be after I go buy that thing that I went there for, it would be to go to the food court and to sit there, not necessarily because I wanted to eat, but to sit there and watch the people. I do that all the time because I'm really into energy and I'm really into the power of our 99.99% of potential energy. And so, because I believe that we are powerful beings, I believe that we're gods. And so with that being said, I really want to discover more of myself. And so I know that in my mind, in my day, in my physical reality, that I can manifest some things really, really fast. But then I begin to notice that there were some things that I couldn't manifest as fast. 
And so I paid attention to the difference of the two in, in just paying in studying myself and how, how much I wanted it, you know, how long I wanted it. I pretty much just did the work on me and I was the guinea pig for it. And then I began to listen to people around me. I, I listened to um, like the laws of attraction, the law of, um, of um, assumption on YouTube and how people would, would tell me their way, but their way wasn't working for me. So I had to figure out my way. So I began to study myself. I began to journal how long it took for me to get such and such. Because in the beginning, I, I would play around with money, money manifestations, you know, because I'm really, really good at manifesting money. But then there, there's the other area in my life that I wasn't so good at. And so I paid attention to, well, why am I not good at? And then I'm thinking, okay, well, well, how is my thoughts when it pertains to money? Well, my thoughts about money is like, I'm going to be all right. You know, it's going to come. It, it always come. And I never have a problem with it. But then when then, then you get to other areas of your life and you have resistance and you pay attention, well, well what is your relationship with, with that particular area? Like, well, I kind of struggle with that area because I really, really want it. And, uh, I wanted so bad and you know so energetically i pay attention to the fact okay you have resistance over here you don't have no resistance over here so now you got to work on how to destroy that resistance and besides all of this that i'm telling you i work for a company called energy right it's a utility company and so it taught me so much about energy you know how to transform your energy you know even with a transformer per se with a too much of a load on it and it's blowing and you know i think about those things when i'm looking at abc um uh, phases of energy on my job so really my job so to speak coincides with me knowing a lot about energy frequency and vibration and i just flipped it and applied it to myself because my job slogan says we power life well that's what they do outside of us but guess what we power life too <laughs> and so everything that my job that i learned on my job as far as energy is concerned i applied it to my physical reality because as within so without i knew that already so my job can't know something that that ain't a part of me you know everything out there is a part of me so my job was really teaching me me <laughs> so that's how i look at it mm -hmm. so let's see that's how i discovered it i was I was, I'm in a job that really teaches me this every day. So let's see. Alicia says, yes, yes. Be still and know that I'm God. This is confirmation. That's good. I'm a money magnet. Yeah, definitely. And, and so, and so I did all of these things. I'm telling you all these things after I rewrote that old shitty story too, because that's the beginning, you know, on my TikTok page. I, I, I did a repost of rewriting your story. I had been a long time ago, rewrote the story, but then, but immediately after you rewrite the story, because a lot of us have a stumbling block inside of that story, the inside of that story that hurt, that pain, that we haven't healed from that trauma. Sometimes our traumas in life stop us from getting that particular manifestation. Let's say, for example, you had a, a particular trauma in life where, I don't know, everything in your parents' house was destroyed by a fire or whatever, and y'all was poor for an appointed time, you know, and you remember that thing. You remember maybe being homeless or not having or had some type of lack. Well, now in your physical reality, what you trying to uh, manifest money, so to speak, right? So money might be a little harder you might have a little resistance because in your mind you feel or remember that trauma this is why it's so important to rewrite the story to make a new story as if that trauma or that fire with that lack did not ever exist in your physical reality and that's a way to release the resistance to get that manifestation of your money and get in alignment with it because really and truly everything that we could ever possibly desire and this is another thing that really really helps with manifestation when you know this here everything that we ever could imagine or desire has already been created and so that that, that alone would just really make you feel good wait a minute you mean to tell me if 
I was that person that had that, 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 that trauma of, of not having abundance and everything taken from me. Just the mere fact that I can think one day that I can be abundant. There's a version of me already that's abundant. You mean it already exists? I just got to get my mind right to get over there. When you begin to think about those things, oh my God, it really gives you like the, 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 the will to, and the determination to want to get over there mentally because of this thing here, going back to what I know about energy. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It's simply transformed. So wait a minute, it's not created. Why is it not created? Because it was already created at creation. Your wellness was already created at creation. <laughs> your prosperity, whatever it is that you could possibly think of, it's already been created. You just got to get on a frequency or an alignment of it mentally. You just got to get your mind right is what that saying there. Mentally. <laughs> Once I learned that about energy, I shift my mindset and I, I, I made the sacrifice to get to where I wanted to be. And there was no do. This ain't about no doing. This ain't about Jesus or the Christ conscious one, the biblical text, thought, uh, Krishna, Buddha, whoever you study was not telling you that you needed to get no hammer and no nails and do. It was a, always about a being, a state of being. And it was always that that state of being and that kingdom per se was already inside of you. So that didn't mean you, yeah, I understand about the law of action and all of that. Yeah, when you inspired action, when it's almost like that steel voice is saying something telling me I shouldn't go this way. So I'm going to just turn. It ain't about, oh, let me, let me find out if there's an accident of over there. Let me, let me do, do, do. No, 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 no. It was never about doing. It was always about being. Always about you just being. Because when you just be, you allow whatever you're being to flow to you. <laughs> yeah, that part. So some people go the other way and they want to do, do, do. It's not that. It's not that. Oh my goodness, I love you. I love you too, girl. That's right. Hi, Alicia. Your laughter is life. Oh, okay. Thank you, babe. Love this. Okay, a state of being. Yes, yes. Okay, this is wonderful information. Out of the window. Yeah, I appreciate you. Very appreciate Okay. All right, so I think the comments just jumped. If I missed something, them intelligent age, she has. She wouldn't spread them suckers for nothing. <laughs> yeah, I love watching people's energy. Yeah. Okay. Just sent you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I love your accent tree. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. But I really want to share that with you all because you could be do have anything. And, and, and even this even applies to working out. This is a mental game. It applies to working out too. So, so when you in the gym, pay, pay attention to this here energetically. When you in the gym, when you walk in or whatever, lifting your weights. Most people, when they're lifting their weights, they're in the mirror. They're flexing their arm. You see, they they looking at their muscle. They're thinking at that time, most often than not, that that their muscle is is gaining. You know, that they're gaining muscle and that they're looking good. Look at what they're doing. They're seeing it in the mirror. They're touching it already. They're experiencing being built already. So really and truly, when you're at the gym, that's what you're doing. You're quantum jumping to where you want to be. You're seeing yourself already. That's what it is. And so because you go into the gym over and over again, just like I'm telling you, every day you practice this over and over again, then you start to see results. Well, then your body start to change. Because guess what? You was quantum jumping the whole time in the gym. You was just quantum jumping. You was just looking. You was just tasting. You was just feeling. Mm -hmm. That was you quantum jumping. But you had your eyes open when you did it. 
The only difference here is just, I'm just telling you to close your eyes and quantum jump and get the things you want. You can get that body that you want. You can look in the mirror and you can clear up your skin if you want, if that's what you want in your physical reality. You can look at that acne and your human imagination and you can see that it is gone. And you can begin to tell yourself in your inner voice, I have perfect skin. I have a perfect body. If that's the type of thing you want, I have perfect vision. Oh, I'm so glad that I have mental clarity. I'm so glad that I have 20-20 vision. It feels so good. This is this is your habitual thought. You change that habitual thought and show, so shall it be. So shall it be. This is, this is the asking and receiving. This is you knocking and the door shall be open unto you. So knock. Ask. Keep on asking. And it is law that it has to come to you you okay yeah don't put yourself inside of the lines and if you're not ready yeah i'm not sure um i'm not sure who you i'm um, speaking to on that but let me tell you sometimes some things happen in the physical reality that get you ready <laughs> If you're ready mentally, you you can do you can be ready for anything. Everything that comes forward is a mental game, and oftentimes on the other side of fear is the greatest times of your life. On the other side of fear is expansion too, because you become greater. It's always a lesson learned and we always win. And even when you think that, okay, I messed up, I did this here wrong. No, no, because that, that particular lesson, that particular lesson is going to help you with expansion. It's probably going to help you in an area where maybe you're going to want it a little bit more. Maybe you're going to work on, on, on your, your mental a little bit more. Maybe you're going to work on your manifestation style and tweak it just a little bit until you get it. Because every last one of us in the physical reality came forth to be a master manifester. To remind ourselves that we're God. That's really the totality of the purpose of every person in the physical reality. We forgot and we're on a journey to remember again. And we're really only remembering, joining back to ourselves joining back at a cellular level and letting our cells of our body become alive and experience itself, joining back to ourselves on a physical level and trumping physical and turning into spiritual gods again, allowing our kundalini energy to rise within us and remember that we are the Christ conscious one. Every last one of us. No matter how, what frequency we're on, no matter what color of our skin, everybody has the innate in ability to tap into source energy when they're at it all. And so when we deal with things like fear, this is why in the biblical text it says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power and of love and a sound mind. Because when we forget that silly thing called fear, which is our lower self, and vibrate on a frequency of power and love and sound mind, our DNA is altered. We become like that Christ conscious one. Our Kundalini energy begins to rise. Our blood begins to transform and be renewed. This is why in the biblical text, they often talked about the blood. Oh, the blood. But really and truly, it is our blood. It is our blood being purified <laughs> once again, flowing through us connecting us to our higher selves. So at that particular moment, that's when the union takes place between the subconscious and the superconscious mind. When you become one with God, this is why Jesus would say, would say things like, I am from above, you from below. It has multiple meanings to it, but, but, but one of the many meanings to it is that subconscious connects with that superconscious. Then I and my father now have become one. When you see me, you see the Father, because now when you see me, <laughs> I'm operating on that same frequency. And because I'm operating on that same frequency, when I see you, I see you as my reflection. I see you through the eyes of God. I see you already healed and whole. I see you. Not that physical you. I see you at a cellular level, alive, one with me singing the same song. 
<laughs> one song, one God, one faith, one baptism. Whew. Hey, Hope, how you doing, babe? Hey, Hope. Let's see. Who are you talking to? Here? Let's see. Your name told me all that I need to know. Oh, somebody being disrespectful. Okay. Okay. Well, I missed that one. Oh, I hope. Good thing I did. Like mindedness. Yes. Hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. Just a reminder the program doesn't want you to leave. More reasons to vibrate higher. Yeah. 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 The so called program. And you know, and you know, I'm gonna say this here about the thing that we say the program or they don't want you to leave, or they don't want you to have it, or you know, this outside stuff. At the end of the day, that's you though. That's you, cause as within, so without. So you out there, <laughs> you don't want you to leave, cause sometimes you get comfortable. You get comfortable in the program. You get comfortable because that that saying ignorant is bliss. You get comfortable. You get comfortable and then you replay over and over and you're like, oh girl, I don't, I don't want to have to work hard to jump up to another level. No, I'm comfortable right here. So at the end of the day, when we say they don't want you out the program, really that, that they is you don't want you out the program too. <laughs> you get comfortable. You get comfortable thinking your old thoughts and like, oh, I'm, she telling me now nah, I got to wake up in the morning. Now I got to think something different, man. I got to go to work. <laughs> You mean to tell me when I'm when I'm washing my dishes, she want me to think something positive? Well, what if them thoughts just gonna come to me? I can't control that. You know how we just make these random little crazy little excuses. Like you could control your thoughts when you're having sex, though. <laughs> you can control your thoughts for that moment in time about how it feels, how how it tastes, touching that particular person, how much you love that particular person. Think about sex when you, when you, this is really, this is really a powerful point to do manifestation when you're at a climax. You can do it when you're having sex, when you, when you're in love with that man, you're in love with that woman, or better yet, when you, and I'm not condoning this, but when you really, let me turn this light on one second. When you really don't, don't want to be with that woman. You don't want to be with that man. And so you start thinking about somebody else. I'm not condoning that. But then you're thinking about somebody else that you wish you was with. You're using your human imagination then. <laughs> like, oh, I, I wish I would, was with so-and-so maybe. I wonder, you close your eyes and you imagine so-and-so being there. You know, an a, a, a actor or a famous person or whatever. Oh, if I could just have one night with so-and-so. We can use our human imagination for all of these things. Why not use it for the desires of your heart? Even when you are at a climax, men and women, when you are at a peak and a climax, that is a powerful energetic force right there. If you could just put on your mind as if that, that million dollar status or that wellness, that, that, that well-being or whatever it is that your desire is, while you're at that climax and you think about it at that moment, you know you could draw it to you that, at that moment too, right? <laughs> so you got before you go to bed, when you wake up in the morning, and when you're at a peak of a climax, those three energetic points of frequency, baby, you could go in and you bring stuff back. You bring stuff back. And I'm reminded, remember they had the movie, the little show, um, Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy Krueger? This girl that... Freddy Krueger was tormenting in her most precious moment in her dream state. She oftentimes would come back with scratches on her body. She'll come back with Freddy Krueger's hand. She'll come back with his hat in her hand. You see? <laughs> because dreams in a vision of the night, that is a powerful God state of being where you can go in and bring your desires back to you if you have them on your mind already before you drift off to sleep. I'm telling you what I know. That's how I cheated and got my stuff. I thought about it. I went to sleep, drifted on it. Gotta remember that next time. Definitely, definitely remember that at night before you go to sleep. And this is why I feel in the biblical text, it say, don't go to sleep. Um, 
with angry so to speak or whatever you know because it's such a precious moment in so many words they say that I, I believe in Psalms or Proverbs don't go to sleep angry or whatever because that is such a precious moment go to sleep happy in the state of being of whatever it is that you are wanting Stay, look those people that do you so-called wrong forgive them people Forgive them people in your mind and in your heart. It gets the desires to be able to come and flow to you easily. Don't you look at people that piss you off in a physical reality and you say to them in your mental this here, I don't give a damn what it is you done did. Your ass is not going to stop me from reaching greatness in my life. I'm not going to hold on to no bitterness from you because you are not that important to me. My manifestation is. So you learn in this game of life to let things go because you don't even want to forsake where you're going for, because you mad at Joe Blow. Okay? If you still have life force in you, you use that juice to get to the life that you are desiring. Nobody in my physical reality is going to stop me from getting where I want. That's how I program my mind. I don't give a darn what my reflection did to me outside here. They're not going to stop me from achieving greatness. They're not going to stop me from being in health and wellness and being balanced. They're not going to stop me from rising and evolving in my spiritual journey. Because really and truly, the most important thing for me in this physical reality is to master myself. It's for me to be in my God state of being right here on earth. That is the real, true, whole totality of what I live for and what I am here for in this physical reality. See, the materialistic things that I draw to me, that's cool. I do those things because I want to remind myself of who I am. But I'm not, see how I gave you the example about the millionaire? See, that, that's, this, that's really not one of my biggest desires to just be a millionaire, so to speak. Because I, I draw money to me all the time. But the really precious thing is, is the journey for me. It's, oh, I was able to do that. Because the manifestations that you're going to see in a couple of TikToks away from this here, put one, it, really, I have them already today. And look at, look at me, I got a t-shirt on. I got a little joggers on. I'm, I, I, I find comfort in just being my authentic self. But in my inner voice, I can say, mm, I'm God. Look, look what I drew to me. That's the part that, that really pleases me to my soul, just to know my power. To know that I am powerful within that's why I do what I do. That's why I got to take that precious moment and put that moment aside to see how powerful I am. To see how deep down that rabbit hole I really can go while still here in the physical reality. And every time I go down that rabbit hole, I come back out and I share it with my reflections. Because I know that if I go through these things, it's never really for me to just go through these things and hide it to myself. I go through these things to be in a position to help other people because this helps the collective consciousness when I help other people. As I grow, you grow. And then we all expand on a higher realm to higher dimensions. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Satisfaction in knowing I am part of the I am, been part of the all. I thought you said I am. Yeah, definitely. That's my satisfaction. That's what I get off on. That, that, that's the thing that gives me the juice to keep on going. You know, when people send me emails and, 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 and text messages letting me know that I've inspired them and that they changed their life. I love that part. That's the part that I love the most. <laughs> it ain't about the boasting and bragging. Yeah, I can get it, but I'm not a braggadocious person. Like, so, so you could watch my TikToks and be looking, you know, because some of you all out there, you know, because at my lower self, I used to be this person. So I know this person exists that you be looking for examples, you know, in my background, so to speak. But you, you, could, you could go head on and look for examples through me. But I'd rather you look for examples that this work through you by you looking at your life, whether it's shitty or good. <laughs> That's your example. Because this here example right here can't tell you the totality of the grace that I'm under. This here TV and these walls back here can't tell you the totality of the manifestations that are on the way for me that I already have touched. You see? So, so I, I want you to look at you first. I want you to look at you in the mirror first. 
okay, to figure out if this thing worked. You know if it worked. Because if you close your eyes and you start to think and you let that mind roam, you know if it worked because your mind going to either roam back to the negative mind state. And when you open up your mind, I mean your eyes, you'll see why your, mind, your life is like it is because of that negative mindset. And if you close your eyes and you see positive things, and you can stay in momentum of those positive things and feel it and carry it with you. And you open your eyes and you will see that's why your life is, is, is showing you the display that it is showing you. Because as a man thinking, whether negative or positive, as a man thinking, so is he. Okay. Yes. Hey, Trey. Thank you for being here. You truly, you are truly a goddess. Hey, brown sugar. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad I landed on your life. I can see clearly. Yeah, thank you, Cherry. I love cherries. Matter of fact, I had cherries today. Cherries is good brain fruit food, y'all. Help with that um detoxify you and help you with your consciousness. De um detoxify that um pineal vein. The material or the accessories, it really is. It really is. In the in the in I love them. Don't get it twisted. I really love nice things, but to, to the core of I'm just I'm just be <laughs> to the core I'm just be you know so now you go could look for those things you'll see them coming but I'm not gonna be bragging and just you know put them on display yeah I came in right on time hey Kilo thank you for being here okay so I don't see any more questions in here I gotta remember that next time yeah remember inner me equals the enemy yeah definitely definitely the inner i like that queen because it's all stemming from within so once you do this inner work and make that ultimate sacrifice consciously to be a conscious being to 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 stop creating by default and be a deliberate creator then then you'll be able to receive the desires of your heart. And I'm not talking about no one day. I ain't talking about no two weeks. I'm talking about having in your mind that this is going to be my new lifestyle. And so if you have it in your mind as a lifestyle, you're not counting down no 30 day, no 60 day. This is your new lifestyle. This is your new way of thinking. That way, when your manifestations show up, you're not sitting there in a chair already thinking man it took it took me 60 days man it was a long time and i didn't think it was ever gonna come no because you already subscribed that it was gonna be your lifestyle that was a journey that i was on when i started and i'll, I'll give you the dates matter of fact it's this particular manifestation that you all about to see was august 29th the reason why i know the date is because i live in new orleans louisiana i live in new orleans louisiana and it was hurricane ida and i said to myself I'm not going through this no more. Then, after that, every night, I begin to do this, what I'm telling you, to change my physical reality every night. Every day, even though I was rebuilding from a storm, even though my physical reality at that time looked shitty again and reminded me of Hurricane Katrina, every day I sacrificed. And I looked at that physical reality and I smiled. Matter of fact, I walked away from TikTok during that time. I smiled at my, my physical reality and I said, you know what? These are my old thoughts. I've let this mind be in me. And I meant it. And I meant it. <laughs> and I can't wait till you all see how my life has changed since that day. So I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't sad. I wasn't sad. I carried all my manifestations with me every day from that moment in time. You see, you got to That's why I posted that video. You just got to get tired sometimes. Sometimes you just got to get tired. And for those of you who choose not to change the way you thinking, your ass ain't tired enough. Your ass ain't tired of that program. You just ain't tired. You keep on keeping on and let, let life blow you and then shake you until you get real, real dog ass tired. And when you get dog ass tired, then you go do something different. Then you go be wondering, where that little lady at? You know, that little lady just be, she was trying to tell me something about me changing my thoughts. I'm tired. I think I'm going to want to listen to her now. Okay? This video 
was from my heart to you, to yours. Your God having a human experience, use your superpower, get tired of not being on the throne of God. Get yourself up and use them powers. Be blessed, baby.